Hi, I'm back home. I'm in our basement and it's time to get ready for the day. I'm going to end up putting a jacket on, but while I do my makeup, I'm leaving it like this. Okay. I am about to leave for an internship like tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, I'm leaving for an intern, my internship and I'm scared to freaking death, but whatever, I'm going to vlog my first week. We're gonna see what happens. I'm about to go and run to the beauty supply because I lost my septum. I have a literal earring inside of my septum hole because I lost my horseshoe. It fell somewhere in here when I was trying to change it and my dumb self didn't bring all the rest of my earrings. So I don't have any. So I have to go get some and I need to fix this because it looks a mess. My hair hurts. If it's from it just being tight, tell me remedies. Because I'm trying not to take my hair down because I have an internship. Somebody help. Send help, please. It's good enough for me. Makeup. Y'all see how small I'm getting? Legit. Like, legit. That was crazy. I need to work on building muscle again because I'm starting to lose my little... And that's... What's as I say? That's a no-no. That's a no-no. Anyway, child, I need some music. I need to get a jacket and let's go in the car. Yeah, I know how I had a car tripod before, right? I wonder since it's hot again if it'll work. Oh, it look a little broke somehow. Anyway, let me let down. My soul, cause it's hot. I almost forgot perfume. I'll be using my Dossier perfume. Y'all see how I threw it in there? Let's sponsor sponge. Shout out to Dossier, Dossier for sponsoring this video once again. I've worked with them before. I absolutely adore their perfumes, like no cap. And the one that I'm showing to you guys today is the Oriental Cherry, which is inspired by Tom Ford's Lost Cherry perfume. It is a unisex perfume, but I personally feel like it has a more feminine energy coming from it. It's so light and airy. It's not musky at all it's very much vanilla i smell but not too overpowering definitely like true vanilla not like vanilla extract kind of thing i'm talking let me spray first i've been wearing it for about a week and a half now i love this perfume also because the smell itself already smells phenomenal but when it is paired with like your own natural aroma you have a specific scent you give off so it'll smell different on everybody which is why i love it so much it's giving what it's supposed to give it's very cute this bottle is my favorite personally because it's so minimalist and it's like a neutral color the packaging is this almost the same as last time basically plus another um travel size pack if you need to plus your big size and of course your card that tells you of course thank you and what exactly you have 10 out of 10 recommend it's actually it's better than the last one i have for sure the last one i still loved but it definitely gave me more of like i give it to my granny or my great aunt you know what i mean this is giving i'm a young adult i'm growing up very much about my business okay yeah y'all gonna be seeing more of them because i literally love their perfumes and they're legitimately good of course i still have a code here's my code right here go ahead and get into it and all right let me head to the store now this beauty supply thank you again dossier for sponsoring this video and sending me your products these things are bomb man bomb Smell like a million dollars in here Smell like i'm trying to take somebody in or woman we don't discriminate over here stuff in to you know put in my room it starts pouring down raining uh, okay after the struggle bus i got everything in here the hotel is actually like pretty decent for itself but we'll i'll get into that a little bit more later i'm about to try to put all this stuff where it needs to go somewhere put it somewhere so it's not all over the place kind of try to fix it up in here and then i'll get back to y'all because i'm hot after about like an hour or two of hard labor in here i'm done i need to get food i low-key want to do my makeup for some reason but like is that really a good idea anyway let me show you the room let me go by the door we have the front door and of course when you first come in there's the bathroom and this is the mirror it's 
like yellow lighting in here which i hate but i mean hey you can't expect too much i got most of my stuff already out and ready to go come into this part this is the main room room so there's a mirror to my right right here where i have my dirty clothes bag and all of my shoes sitting out and then i have a chair there's a chair here which i got more stuff in the corner this cute little picture a couch this bench thingy which i actually just read in there and there's some good stuff so i'm probably gonna try something from a different place for dinner um uh, maybe every night or every other night because i still plan to go to the grocery store and get some stuff that i can get but yeah i just got all my shoes out right here hopefully housekeeping don't come in here touching stuff because somebody actually slick opened my door while i was in here um barely though and she was like oh my bad yeah you're bad the usual ice bucket got a fridge cute little mini fridge microwave and i got some stuff i have from home um my apple tv and this then over here you got the main bed my ring light right there i got a little of course i have my blanket from home my new air fryer which i'm actually about to open before i leave another cute picture another light most of my setup already i brought that in the corner i got hair and makeup stuff the ac outside of course and then this this cute mirror it's huge right but anyway it opens which is where i have like my other luggage because y'all know i i have everything in here so that's all i'm gonna turn these lights off now because i don't need them save their light bill i will be here for the next two months i did put a scarf on my head because i started sweating y'all like while i was moving my stuff and my hair can be getting frizzy okay oh yeah my hair is different so my scalp ended up becoming really red and like borderline bleeding i had scabs in my head because my hair was so tight had to take that out sid came through and did some just two strands on me in a side part shout out to Sid but I will be staying here for the next two months I have an internship hence why I'm in a hotel I am no longer in my city I'm in a whole entirely different place look I got a hole inside of my uh what you call this slippers because i'll be wearing them outside like a dummy i did try to book an airbnb because you had the option of either trying to get an apartment which i wasn't doing because i don't have no money for rent to an airbnb which actually they didn't think of airbnb until i brought it up and then three this hotel i found an airbnb and it was perfect i was so looking forward to it i literally sent it to the people i'm interning for two three months before it was time for me to get here and they literally waited until the beginning of May to book. And of course, it's gone now. There's apparently a couple that were staying there already at that Airbnb and they renewed their lease again till September. I was basically SOL. And like the other Airbnbs were community style with like four, like I could be laying in my bed and a random person who's also staying there could walk past no ma'am so i say you know what just give me the hotel they didn't tell me what hotel they were gonna do so this one is pretty it's okay i mean you can't be too picky i got somewhere to live but if i would have had an airbnb i would have had like a stove and laundry so now i'm gonna probably have to like drive on the weekends to either one find a laundry mat or two go to like my granny or my auntie house to do my laundry so there's that that's why i'm here and i will be here living here for the next two months Hopefully in this exact same room because um, I took a lot of my stuff out and I'm going to be real pissed if I got to leave out of this room by the end of the week to go to a different room. I start work tomorrow so I'll ask then but I'm going to try to record all week. Of course I won't be actually recording in my job because well it's a job and I'm new that's weird. But all the festivities in the morning and then after I'll be recording just to you know see if I do anything special. There is a place though I just found out of this booklet out here. All the food in that pamphlet looks so good like I can't even lie. But today I'm gonna just do pizza cause you know it's basic. It's not like a Domino's and a Papa John's like it's like the town specific pizza place. Definitely got sidetracked and forgot I was recording. Shout out to my stepmom for getting me that. Okay. It's so cute and little. It's literally so small. Cute. So I just did my Walmart pickup for tomorrow when I get off work. But this time looking, I ended up not doing makeup. I ended up putting on 
my Yeezy foam runners and I'm pissy because somehow I got some kind of yellow stuff on them and it won't come off. So that made me upset, but nonetheless, I look cute. These glasses are from Monet Lux. Somebody sent them to me. Shout out to her. I'll put her Instagram on the screen. And let's go get this food before I starve to death. go get pizza right like the plan and it said it was open today i made sure to look and make sure it was open because i knew i was going to be mad if i drove over there and it was closed why they don't reopen until tomorrow how am i supposed to know that i'm not from here i don't know how these hours and operations work so i went to the jamaican place and said let's let's see what they're talking about let's let's see how it looks now she shorty stuffed my plate this is real jamaican black owned business so my plate quite large i got a jamaican beef patty jerk chicken with rice and beans and white rice i'm not a fan of rice and beans together so i don't really know how i'm gonna feel about it but you know trying new things oh wow my beautiful jamaican beef patty i've been craving this for a couple days now a couple weeks now it's giving childhood. Like, look at that. Wow. I just did that with my finger, but wow. Today's fit. I think that's pretty cute for the first day. Had to switch out my pants, but I think it's pretty cute. And just like that, I'm back. I'm tired. I'm serious. today simple shirt these pants and little low loafers i decided to do like no kind of nothing no eyebrows no eyelashes or nothing take me as i am because who got time to be doing that every day but i might throw on some lip stuff and see how it looks if i like it i'm gonna wear it if not i'm gonna take it off clearly but i like today's outfit very casual they're way more casual than i expected i ended up not being able to finish my vlog last night because i had a huge migraine and it, it just wasn't gonna happen after i got my walmart pickup and i got this visual surprise anyway let me head out that toe <laughs> today running late tell y'all later on the camera looking like a little boy yeah at least gotta put some earrings on it's saturday Oof. first week of my internship is done it was really good actually i've been struggling with wanting to be in school still like i've been thinking about like drop out and honestly this this internship so far even makes me want to stay like Everyone is so friendly and so nice. Y'all don't understand. Like, I'm not even just saying that. Like, there truly are. I'm currently back in Lawrenceburg. I had to leave this weekend because I'm getting a new hotel, which thankfully, because that other one was a little bit ratchet, but I didn't want to say that. It, was, it, it got bad as the week went on. Really excited about this new hotel. I'll show you guys that when the time comes. I'm super hot right now. I'm currently doing my laundry. I leave tomorrow to go back 
to my internship and check into the new hotel so i'll probably leave in the morning but i am ending this vlog here just know that my week was great all the food i've eaten 10 out of 10 loved everything i had i'm probably i'm so mad i didn't like record on my phone or even take pictures of half of the stuff i ate because i'm telling y'all like it was so good so anyway that's all i have for y'all thank you for watching dossier thank you again for sponsoring this video everything that you need to know about the perfume and anything else it will be in the description box anyway i have work to do and clothes to finish so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love y'all and i see you in my next video